Hello guys, welcome back to Football Manager 2018, the European Gentleman here with Juventus and myself, the Keg Man. So, in the previous episode, we beat Inter Milan 3-0 in the Italian Cup quarter-final. And today we take on Sassuolo in Serie A. If we have a look at Serie A, <clears throat> we can see that Sassuolo are second in the league. A win here today will actually take us 21 points clear of them. If Napoli should win there, well, I'm saying that Napoli have had their game in hand. So we'll go 21 points clear at the top of the table, 19 games in. We're only just about hitting halfway in the season. Um, <clears throat> other news to look at. So, we've got a few uh, offers being made. Interestingly, though, I mean, we're not going to see any of these. We're not. Okay, it's not something we're going to get any benefit out of. But it's just, I, I want to do it because I want to do it. This guy here, we've offered a contract for him on a free transfer. Eddie Aldred, 22 years old from Southampton. Right, Six months left on his contract. Yeah. He's, he's got some... He's got some ability about him. So, uh, there's a few players I've put in contracts for. That doesn't matter. That's not what we're worrying about today. Today, we are worrying about this game here. We want to go second in the league. The second in the league? We want to increase our lead over second in the league. Uh, Lomi is suspended for this one um, after his red card or his two yellow cards in the previous league game. Which you didn't see, but I did tell you about in the previous episode. I'm sure I did. Um, so instead, we have... I can't remember if it's Bottiglieri or Finizio stepped up. I think Finizio has stepped up into his position. No, yeah, Finizio. Uh, probably could have put Regani or uh, Benucci in. But that's that's how it ended up. And Nico Hadjic was the subject of a transfer bid from Real. Uh, sorry, not Real Madrid. Manchester United. Allegri of the goal there. Um, twenty-eight million. I think they said. I think it was uh, they offered. My daughter is very loud today. Very very loud indeed. She's like four rooms away with my wife. Um. So yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so like twenty something million for Hadzic, counted with a three hundred million pound, three hundred million pound, three hundred million pound instalments, league appearances up front offer. No interest again now. Good. I think they're going to get the point, and that point is leave my players alone because you're not going to get, them. especially now. Like you're you're trying to go for players who are registered in my Champions League squad. You're trying to go for my one absolutely fucking astounding homegrown at club player in Moise Keane. You're not going to get him. You're not going to get him. Yeah, she is quite loud today. I don't know if you can hear her at all, but she is very, very loud indeed. Right. So, Bottiglieri to Manganaro. Bottiglieri to Francesco. Luis Vinicius gives the ball away. That was a bad bit of play there. Terrible bit of play. Manganaro. Finds Di Francesco. Manganaro again. It's, you know, we're just trying at the probing. Oh, that was a rocket from Feliz D'Amico. An absolute fucking rocket. Let's see that again. Let's see it in slow motion, though. Manganaro. Di Francesco. I said they were probing. We're just trying to find gaps through the Sassuolo defence. But D'Amico's like, nah. Board. <laughs> just smashes it in. Near post. Keeper had no chance. <laughs> I fucking love that. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Right. So. I'm going to push forward again in a minute. How are we looking? Benicio's got no match fitness, by the way. That's something to... Remember here, okay. So this that might be a detrimental thing. Benicio, I mean, or he can go and score. <laughs> right, now it's three nil against second in the league. How the fuck has Sassuolo got to second in the league? I don't get it. Chesney obviously in their goal. They got him. They got him from us. We sold that. To, we sold that. We sold him to them. So he's had his return as such. Berardi, was he one of ours? I don't think he was. I was trying to figure out how they're here. 
I really don't I really don't get it. I don't get Hella here, but Milan are down here and Roma are down here. I, I it, it's it baffles me. I like it. I like it. It's, it's good to see. I mean, it's not, it's not going to be too good to see. Oh, they, they're a man down now as well. It's not going to be too good to see like how things change because obviously we don't want to upset the, the status quo too much because we are we are the team as it is in real life. I've seen the others, you know, fall by the wayside, and that's why they come up to second in the league. Fantastic. So, we've got a 3-0 lead going into the second half. They have a man down. Don't let your performance levels drop. Moise, don't look stressed, mate. Don't look stressed. Because you, you, you can still improve. There you go, he's happy again now. You weren't that bad, you can still improve. I don't think he's got a goal, has he? I think that might be why he's upset. Yeah. It could be. I think there's like a little sort of personal rivalry between Catrone, Keane and Pellegri. Like who can score the most goals this season. By the way, the goals we've scored this season, our goal difference in the league, absolutely phenomenal. We'll have a look. We'll have a look before the episode ends because it's not going to be a very long episode again by the looks of things. Um, but we'll certainly have a look. Berardi, Vinicio, Nadinho, Hadzic. Di Francesco. Put it this way. Um, goal bonuses are costing this team a lot of money. Keane. Luis Vinicius. Get across in. D'Amico. Nearly made it four. Don't need to make it four. I'm quite happy with three at the minute. Because, like I say, goal bonuses are costing us a lot of money. <laughs> Hell of a lot of money. Um, I mean, we're not losing money. Um, oh no, no! Don't get me wrong. We're, we're. I don't think we're in debt anyway. I've been a little while since looked at finances. We'll have to have a look. But I know that some of these players have got really high goal bonuses. All right, let's get some subs in. Uh, Vinicius for you know, and Barlow's not had some game time for a while, so Barlow. Vinicio for Rigani because he was complaining about game time the other day. And then we'll give it a couple of minutes, and we'll bring on the next sub. Uh, I don't know who it's going to be though. Probably Shaq is on. Yeah, let's get Shaq is on. on. Right. So, let's push forward for the final few minutes. Not long left now. 3 0. I'll take 3 0 over second place. 26 shots, 8 on target. That I can't take. That is a little bit annoying. Chairs need to clear it. Referee should blow his whistle any moment now. Come on, ref. Just end it now. They can't. They can't do anything. They can't do anything at this stage. Just you know, there's nothing for them. There we go. See, lovely. So, 21 points clear at the top of the table. Just over halfway through the season. Well done, lads. We'll just we'll praise them up. I didn't seem overly excited about that. But yeah, it's um. <laughs> it's becoming too easy. It's it really is too easy. Three 0 We'll we'll praise Di Francesco. Um, we smash to us Sassuolo. We've got seventy two goals from nineteen matches. That is absolutely unreal. Right, so let's go to this here, and then we'll click on stages. Goal difference plus sixty seven. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 13. We're just fucking smashing the shit out of everyone. 72 goals in 19 games, and we've only conceded 5. Not just the goal bonuses, it is also the clean sheet bonuses. And we look at the finances, yeah, okay, we're doing well, 26 million, but we've lost 27 million this month. Where that was quite a lot of that was um, through player sales, if I remember rightly. Like 18.75 million. Transfer expenditure this month, 48.9 million. So yeah, we would have made money. Income this month, 32. You know, it's um, it's costing us money, but we're making money. Committed spending, 4.1. Can I, I'll get that a little bit closer. I don't think there's any requests. No point in improving data facilities. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. That is going to be the end of today's episode. In the next episode, I can't remember who said we're going to play now. Have a look. 
where are we? Roma. Yeah, we'll come back for the Roma game. I'm in a 12th. So, is there any point? We might come back for the Napoli game, actually. We might skip a few Napoli, skip a few AC, uh, Atletico, sorry. Skip a few Napoli, then Madrid, and then we'll come back somewhere around here. I wonder if Sassuolo will be second at the end of the season. Because they're our last game of the season as well. So that could be interesting. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. If you have enjoyed today's episode, of course, thumbs up. If you haven't, thumbs down. Um, subscribe if you're new. I'm Kekman, and I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Bye-bye.